Welcome back to our channel the 2025 iteration of India's San, standoff anti-tank missile marks a significant leap forward in the nation's indigenous defense technology. Developed jointly by the Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO, and the Indian Air Force IAF, the San missile is an air-launched, long-range precision-guided weapon designed specifically to neutralize armored targets from a standoff distance. Its advancement reflects India's growing emphasis on self-reliance in defense and a shift toward high-tech, platform-agnostic munitions capable of dominating modern warfare environments. Originally developed as an upgraded version of the Helena missile, an air-launched variant of the NAG anti-tank guided missile, the SAN now stands as a fully matured and distinct missile system. It is tailored to enhance the Indian military's operational capabilities against armored threats while minimizing the exposure of aircraft to hostile air defense systems. One of the standout features of the 2025 SAN missile is its extended range, now reaching up to 20 kilometers, significantly surpassing previous versions that maxed out around 8 to 10 kilometers. This gives the Indian Air Force the critical advantage of engaging enemy armor without entering contested airspace. At the core of the missile is a state-of-the-art millimeter wave active radar seeker, combined with an inertial navigation system INS, and two-way data link, enabling both fire and forget and man in the loop capabilities. This hybrid guidance system allows the missile to adapt mid-flight based on real-time targeting information, enhancing its precision in cluttered or GPS-denied environments. Whether launched from a HAL Rudra attack helicopter or potentially the indigenous light combat helicopter, LCH, the missile seamlessly integrates into modern airborne platforms. The inclusion of man-in-the-loop capability also ensures that the missile operator can retarget or abort missions mid-course, a critical feature in complex battlefield scenarios. The 2025 upgrades go beyond just range and guidance. DRDO has refined the missile's warhead to maximize lethality against modern main battle tanks, which often come equipped with explosive reactive armor era. The San missile's tandem charge warhead is specifically engineered to defeat such defenses, ensuring a high kill probability even against well-protected targets. Additionally, improvements in the propulsion system have enhanced the missile's speed and stability, making it highly reliable even under adverse weather and jamming conditions. What sets San apart in the global missile landscape is its dual utility in both conventional warfare and asymmetric scenarios. In a high-intensity conflict, the missile offers air superiority and armor-neutralizing capabilities without putting Indian pilots in harm's way. In counterinsurgency or cross-border operations, it can be used to precisely take out fortified positions or hidden enemy vehicles with minimal collateral damage, a growing priority for modern militaries. The missile's development is also emblematic of India's Admanirbar Bharat, self-reliant India, defense push. With the increasing indigenization of defense hardware, the San missile represents not just a technical achievement, but a strategic move toward reducing dependency on foreign suppliers. DRDO has emphasized the use of domestic components, from the radar seeker to the propulsion and control systems. This not only lowers costs over the long term but also secures critical supply chains in times of conflict. Another key highlight is the missile's growing integration potential. While currently deployed from rotary wing platforms like the HAL Rudra and LCH, there are ongoing efforts to make the missile compatible with fixed-wing aircraft and potentially unmanned combat aerial vehicles UCAVs. This modularity and interoperability are vital as the Indian military shifts toward network-centric warfare, where different platforms must communicate and coordinate seamlessly on the battlefield. In terms of testing and validation, the 2025 variant of the San missile has undergone a series of successful trials, demonstrating accuracy, seeker performance, and range capabilities. Recent user-assisted launches have confirmed the missile's ability to lock on to and destroy moving armored targets under realistic combat conditions. These trials, conducted at high-altitude ranges and varied terrain profiles, have provided invaluable feedback for final refinements before full-scale induction. Globally, the San missile places India among a select group of nations capable of producing long-range air-launched anti-tank missiles. While systems like the American AGM-114 Hellfire and the Israeli Spiker serve similar roles, the SAN distinguishes itself through its indigenous roots, customizable architecture, and cost-effectiveness. This opens doors not only for domestic deployment but also for potential export under India's growing defense trade initiatives with friendly nations in Southeast Asia, Africa, and beyond. As regional tensions in South Asia remain volatile, the importance of advanced standoff weaponry like the SAN cannot be overstated. 
It provides a credible deterrent against mechanized incursions and enhances the Indian Air Force's capability to respond swiftly and decisively to armored threats. With its 2025 enhancements, the San missile not only strengthens India's defensive arsenal but also signals its arrival as a major player in the global defense technology landscape. The journey of San, from conceptual development to operational deployment, is a testament to India's technological ambition and strategic foresight in modern warfare.